Hello people, I'm Zotria, and today we're making an origami bat. We're making an origami bat because it's very scary at night time. And if you have this in front of your face, you might get scared. Which is why I'm gonna make it for you. Let's get started. So, first thing we wanna do is we wanna fold this corner down to this corner. Good job. Now you want to unfold that and fold this top corner here down to this corner. And remember, you have to be extremely neat to get the best results. Because if you're not neat, then something bad will happen. And that is when you're doing a precise fold, it won't go correctly. So now, you should have a cross, kind of like this. So. One cross going here, and one cross going here. You can see? There are two folds. Now, you want to fold it, so then there's a cross going from here and there. So, take this edge and put it up to this edge. Remember, trying to be as neat as you can. Okay. Now you want to take this edge and fold it over to this edge. Congratulations. Now, I want you to unfold this. Now, here's probably the hardest part. I want you... Just joking, it's not the hardest part actually. I want to fold this edge here into the center. It's so hard because it's the hardest part. But yeah, it's gonna be coming up soon. Anyway, yeah, you want to fold that as well. So make sure that these two edges here are folded into the center. Okay, now you want to unfold it and take these two corners and put them into the center. Okay, now I want you to, you see this line here? Put your finger on that so that it won't go up. And you see these this crease going along here? Yeah, I want you to put one finger under that and then pull it up. You would notice that this entire flap here comes up and so you want that. So you do that and you see this crease here? You fold it on that angle. So you just fold that and this thing should come up kind of like that. Now you should have a flap here to use, and okay. Now I need to do the same with the other side. Okay, now it's time for the wings. I don't know if we have it here, okay we don't, so. You see, closely, there are two creases. One here, and one there. I want you to um, take these creases and kind of make a crease going into the center. So you see, that's the center there. You want to make a crease here. So to do that, you want to take this edge here, and fold it so that it matches up with this corner here. Remember guys, side lines as the guidelines. So if you, if you can't see it, just try feel around for it, and if you find the crease, you want to make that fold. And you want to do the same with the other side. Okay, now that you got that, you want to take both of them and just put this flap up. And it should kind of match up. Okay, congratulations. 
Now you should have this. Now, you want to turn it over, and I want you to take the head piece here and bring it down, kind of like that. Now that we brought it down, see from here. I'm going to take these two flaps here and bring them down. Now you see this part here? This is pretty simple. You take these two edges here and kind of fold them into the center. You see these creases should be where it's um, crossing. So if you do that, these creases should come down. And if you see, if you have a trouble here, then just fold that up a bit. Just fold that down and squish it. Okay, so if you didn't know what we just did, I'll show you again. Take these two, fold them here, take a sandwich, squish. Okay, good. Now we have the bases of our bat. You see, we have the ears and the wings. Now time to make a tiny modification and this modification is the nose. So it really depends how big the, you want the nose to be. I'll fold mine up to about this height here and you can fold your one to whatever height you want, doesn't really matter. It's a design thing. And then you take these two ears, open it up and if you look closely you should have a small rectangle kind of on the edge here. So with that rectangle, you fold that rectangle upwards so that the entire rectangle is going in and then you just take these two um, sides here, just pinch them in. Okay, I did not do that very... I did not do that correctly. Oh damn. Sorry, technical difficulties. <laughs> Okay, so now that we fold that in, it's time for some decorations. Decoration time. And that is our very scary bat. Look how scary that is. If that came up to you at night and you saw it, you would be scared. And even if it was through the sky and it was flying, you'd be scared. Thank you for watching. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and learned a lot from it. See ya.